Hello, everyone. This is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. I'm honored today to be among the very few to showcase this next edition of the Book of Mormon today. Before we get into this, a reminder that I did a video regarding the Deseret Alphabet and some reader books. I'd encourage you to review this video as it's really interesting to see the history behind this text. This was a system of text invented in the 1860s to assist the immigrant pioneers coming into Utah to learn verbal English. There are more vowel symbols to assist in various sounds, and each of these readers have a symbol guide to help understand the phonetics. If it looks Greek to you, you're not alone. This system was short-lived as it was specifically used by the Utah Mormons. Types that was hard to come by for printings, and non-Mormons were wary of it, as they thought it was, in some way, a secret text to keep the outsiders away. Ultimately, the Transcontinental Railroad came through Utah, which brought goods from the East Coast, and also brought newspapers, magazines, and other English text reading material to the saints in Utah. So the Desert Alphabet was a system of good intentions, but uh, not practical in a developing territory in the mid-1800s. But it didn't go away before various books were printed. Specifically and significantly, a two-volume set called the Desert Alphabet Readers were created as a set of practice books. Also, a sectional portion of the Book of Mormon that contained 1st Nephi through the Words of Mormon was printed en masse. These are often found on online websites and from various rare book dealers. However, I'm honored today to present a full edition of the Book of Mormon in Desert Alphabet, printed in 1869. This is a full volume from 1st Nephi all the way through to Moroni. Even though a different language from Utah might not seem useful, what makes these unique is the print quantity. Only 500 of these full editions of the Book of Mormon were printed. I would also imagine someone going through an old estate would see something like this and just toss it aside and dis discard it as a non-English book. So I wonder what really is the quantity of surviving copies today. Either way, this is a unique printing. Also, over time, books fall apart and this edition showcased here has been rebound with the original spine adhered to a new cover. There is a pronunciation guide in the front, similar to the reader editions, where a list of symbols are printed with their equivalent phonetic English sounds. The following pages uh, are similar to other editions, with a title page and the Testament of the Witnesses, all printed in Deseret Alphabet. So the text of this would be similar to any Salt Lake editions of the time. However, it's interesting to note that this edition was printed in 1869, which is before Orson Pratt reformatted the, the chapters and versings to what we have today. So this full 1869 volume of the Desert Alphabet Book of Mormon has a unique set of chapter and versing within uh, and matches the chapter breaks of the 1837 and 1840 printings of the Book of Mormon. I haven't found any analysis of the text to see if there are any typos or misprints. Maybe that could be someone's doctoral thesis. An analysis of the text of the Deseret Alphabet Book of Mormon, with additional research on the quantity of surviving volumes. What's also interesting is that for these four books printed, an image of the Salt Lake Temple is featured. However, the Salt Lake Temple was still under construction and wasn't finished until the 1890s, much later than this 1869 printing. This means that the image of the Salt Lake Temple is a rendering for future construction, as the images uh, have a weather vane or something different than the traditional angel of Moroni that we know of today on top of the temple. So, showcased here is a full volume, one of 500 ever printed of the Deseret Alphabet Book of Mormon. Please comment down below if you've ever seen one of these or if you, there are any other fun facts about the Deseret Alphabet or if you have a copy and you'd like to discuss it or if you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed here. Please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.